After nearly a decade of being a key member of the Imperium Coalition, the initiative announces its departure on amicable terms. In a statement, Initiative CEO Dark Shines expresses that it is now time for their organization to embrace fresh challenges on their own terms. Headquartered in the Fountain region, the initiative reaffirms its strong alliance in collaboration with their neighboring Imperium members in Delve. Additionally, the initiative has declared its unwavering commitment to deploy its formidable forces supporting the B2 coalition in the ongoing war in the North. The conflict that initiated in the region of Pureblind has carried on for close to three months now. What started as incursions by Winterco into the B2 coalition-held region grew into a full-blown war, with multiple Nullsec parties drawn into the fray. During the initial phases, Winterco wasted no time in establishing their foothold and constructing citadels in the region for their operations. The incursions made by Winterco did not escape the attention of the major capsuleer power blocks of New Eden. The first major escalation happened when the Imperium, led by Asher Elias, made a significant move by deploying their forces to Pureblind in support of the B2 coalition, which had been vastly outnumbered in defending their territory. According to Asher, the main strategic objective of this deployment was to prevent Winterco from expanding its territory and renting it out to smaller entities. Although the Panfam Coalition, a long-term rival of the Imperium, did not fully commit to the war in Pureblind, they did deploy many of their most experienced Capsuleers to support Winterco in their fights against the Imperium and B2 forces. The combined forces of the Imperium and B2 Coalition numbered approximately 70,000 Capsuleers, while Winterco and Panfam had a force of around 83,000 Capsuleers. Deploying a vast number of fleets to the region, this war has unleashed a relentless wave of death and destruction. Initially contained within the confines of Pureblind, numerous significant battles unfolded, involving thousands of ships. Among them, the most ferocious clashes erupted in the strategically pivotal system of X-47L TAC-Q, where Winterco managed to construct a formidable Keepstar Citadel. Despite enduring weeks of relentless combat and incurring substantial losses, the combined forces of the Imperium and B2 triumphed, reducing the Keepstar to ruins. However, undeterred by their setback, Winterco swiftly established a replacement, perpetuating the cycle of conflict. Another notable confrontation transpired in the system of 5ZXX Tag K, where over 4,000 ships engaged in a grueling 15 hour battle culminating in the annihilation of yet another Winterco Keepstar. As the war persists, its reach extends beyond Pureblind, with skirmishes igniting in various corners of New Eden. Systems like the ravaged Turner and the Triglavian-controlled Navula in the region of Poshven have become the new battlegrounds. While Pureblind is no longer the singular focus of the conflict, the situation is still smoldering in the northern regions as both sides have retained their forces there but not made any significant moves. The heavy engagements have been more sporadic with both sides taking a measured and reserved approach to future hostilities. Much of their focus has been on defending against any unwanted advances across several regions in the north, waiting for their respective enemies to make a mistake. Needless to say, countless millions of ship crew members and Citadel residents have already perished in this merciless conflict. Most tragic are the workers who were enticed by employment agencies with promises of a brighter future for themselves and their families living in the numerous Citadels scattered across New Eden. These unfortunate people are now left in a state of uncertainty. With the departure of the initiative from the Imperium, their only solace lies in fervent prayers and hopes that this latest development will not intensify the conflict, potentially making their homes the next primary targets. This is Alton Havery reporting for The Scope.